The UN is ridiculous and outdated, and there's no better example than Venezuela winning a contested election for a seat on the Human Rights Council. There they will join fellow dissident killers, Cuba, China, and Saudi Arabia. That's like putting Jeffrey Epstein in charge of a pedophile roundup or leaving hungry sharks to babysit newborn seals. Venezuela is only held together through a militarized band-aid, and the illegitimate junta has been condemned this year, not only by the UN General Assembly for displacing four million people, but also by the UN Human Friggin' Rights Council for, quote, grave violations of economic, social, civil, political, and cultural unrest. In other words, they haven't met a right they wouldn't bugger, and now these vultures are in charge of naming and policing norms. Poppycock! The UN is officially useless, a bloated bureaucratic collection of jet-setting gas bags who suck money off of our chafed teat. The U.S. pays 22% of the total budget. There are 193 countries we pay 22%, and that is a pretty bangless buck. The U.N. has not only overstayed its international welcome, it's wildly expensive and inefficient, and now has run into a $230 million deficit because no one wants to pay for a globalist massage with no happy ending. Former U.N. ambassador and future president Nikki Haley put it best when she wrote, almost all the pro-human rights countries agreed on the need for reform of the council, but they refused to take a stand in public. Many encouraged us to remain on the council because the United States, they said, provided the last shred of credibility the Human Rights Council had. And that was precisely why we decided to leave. America should not lend any credibility to this cesspool of political hypocrisy and corruption. Harumph! Damn Skippy Nikki! Let's wade out of the cesspool, take our ball, and go home, and finally yank the failed League of Nations off international life support for good. And that's the memo.